So here we go, billionaires on Bitcoin. We'll continue with our series now. And this one is, is fascinating. This guy is, is very vocal. He is a believer. The whole reason I'm doing this series is because I find that a lot of these people that are commenting on Bitcoin, that are investing in Bitcoin, that have financial means, a lot of times their background, to me, is what gives it credibility. So take this gentleman, for example, Chamath, uh, Chim, uh, Chamath Pali, I can't say his last name. I heard it um, a while ago, but th this gentleman here, and I, I, I hate that I'm messing up his name, uh, but he's the more I'm learning about him, the more I like him. But he's really fascinating. He started out, uh, he's got a, a Wikipedia page. You can read his Wikipedia page. It doesn't say a tremendous amount, though. Um, I did more, you know, as I researched this guy more and more, um, I found much more useful information on him. So, for example, this gentleman actually worked at Facebook and for a while. And when he worked at Facebook, he, he worked at Facebook for, um, way, well, even before then. If some of you will remember the, the media player, y, uh, YNAP. He actually helped create that years ago. And he was a software developer, engineer, coder, whatever. And he was in the software space for a long time. Then Sean Harper, you know, who helped found Facebook, start Facebook, uh, got him to come on board a few years after Facebook had kind of gotten started. He ended up working with Facebook for a while. In the meantime, he was kind of doing his own investing in the side. He has a strong tech background, very big into coding. He has a strong understanding of, of software development. And, and now he, he runs a hedge fund. And he definitely, one of his main things that he focuses on is software services and software as a service. Those are things that his, company, his hedge funds like to invest in. He's a very, very interesting guy. He's very social conscious, um, even though he's, he's very, very wealthy. Um, once you start reading about him and see, hearing some of his talks, um, he loves to invest with a cause. And he loves to invest in companies and products that are really revolutionary. So... In this particular video here, I mean, there's uh, another video I saw that was really awesome. But one of the things that he says in this video that's really fascinating in this series, um, he's probably one of my favorite guys in this series so far um, on billionaires on Bitcoin. But one of the things that he says that's really fascinating is he talks about that the how disruptive the blockchain is. And he says, basically, look, it's a store of value um, and it's going to revolutionize everything absolutely everything and he says you know all the com countries right now that are under economic pressure he, he says that you know they're already leaning heavily towards Bitcoin their citizens are already leaning heavily on bitcoins and he said he goes on to say that right now it's a store of value but eventually it's going to be a mainstream payment system and 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 he says if you don't think that's going to affect the price of Bitcoin well we all know that it is and this by the way was back in 2013 I read, I found another video, I'm sorry, I found an article where he was talking, and on that article he was talking about, um, and it was from this year, um, I think it was the summer of this year, and in that particular article, the interviewer said, don't you think that Bitcoin's going to be disrupted? Don't you think that, you know, governments are going to try to stop it? And he says, no, that, I mean, it's totally decentralized. He goes, where are they going to go to? There's no company to go after. There's no one to shut down. And the guy argues, he says, um, he says, uh, he, I'm sorry, Chamath goes on to say, there, there's nothing to shut down. There's no one to go after. He says, half of the developers of Bitcoin are known. The other half are totally anonymous. There's literally no way to shut it down. And then, of course, the interviewer came back and said, yeah, but the government could stop it at the point of currency exchange. It could stop you from turning it into fiat. And he says, yes, but it's still going to continue. It's still going to exist. That sort of pressure is going to do nothing but fuel the the those people who want to use it as a store of value against government pressure, against government corruption, against government manipulation, that's going to do nothing but confirm in their mind what's going on. He said, so it's going to be just further confirmation for them to hold on to it as a store of value and as a currency. This gentleman is totally fascinating. This is our series, Billionaires on Bitcoin. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can catch my other videos. I'm going to continue looking around, doing research. If you have anyone you want me to uh, talk about, highlight, or spotlight, 
please, please, please be sure to subscribe. To, I'm sorry. Please be sure to comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you agree with Chamath or if you don't agree with him. Um, let me know if you think that Bitcoin has a future, cryptocurrency has a future. I totally do. I mean, I'm using this as part of my, this is my, I always call this my speculative investment, but it is without question, you know, one of my favorite investments. It is so exciting. Um, real estate is boring. Business in some ways is boring. I mean, I said they're boring. There's exciting parts about it. But this is the only investment that I have that has the ability to truly, truly cutting edge transform the world. This is like seeing Facebook before it's here. This is so early stages that anybody who's getting in now, anyone who's doing research now, anyone who's investing now, you are so, so far ahead of the ball game. Um, so I recommend go open up a, a Go open up an account at Coinbase, start doing your research, buy some cryptocurrency, invest in some altcoins, start studying the space, stay tuned to my channel, I'll get more information out to you. Anything you have questions on, put it in the comments, I'll do everything that I can to bring you videos, content, to help educate you, to teach you, to help you learn, to help you understand what this state, uh, space is all about. Again, thanks for watching this series, Billionaires on Bitcoin, I'll be coming up with another video soon.